who knows what will happen. I have no idea what's going to happen. But if it ends up being really, really successful, it's kind of cool knowing I was there at like the very first moment when it was nothing and no one knew anything about it. And watching all that like happen organically, I think, is the most rewarding part about all of it, for sure. And knowing that like we created it. I started a t-shirt business while I was at Texas State and that kind of like, that's where I kind of got the bug for like being an entrepreneur and being my own boss. And um, out of college I worked like coffee shops and ended up working at Enterprise Rent-A-Car and um, that gave me a taste of like the corporate world and how that worked and being a salesman and it really didn't vibe with me at all and um, I knew like to be happy I kind of had to be my own boss like be able to wear t-shirts and just kind of make my own individual dent rather than you know just kind of being the machine I guess and um, I had the idea for the Inchilaco um, kind of brewing for a real long time and I thought it was a really good idea and I used that as an opportunity to just like go off and do my own thing. And so me and the co-owner, Sam Miramati, kind of partnered up and made this thing happen. It's like the very first thing we did is we made sure that the Inchilaco was something worth building a business around. So we started from the ground up. We made sure the sauce was perfect. We spent over a month just tweaking, like spending every morning buying all the ingredients and making batches and batches of sauce until like it was absolutely perfect. We probably made like 500 batches of sauce like until it was just, we knew it was like money. So we started with the sauce and just went on down the line making sure every ingredient was good and put it all together and we're really happy with it and we think it's worth having a business around. Our like enchilada sauce that goes in our enchilada. Also goes into our um, super nachos and tres hombre nachos. It's a, it goes along with the beans just for an extra spicy kick. It's really good. My story with the enchilada is similar to like every kid in San Antonio's story. Like all of my friends and pretty much everyone I know going to Tex-Mex places in San Antonio. Like whenever you get enchilada plates, you always throw the enchilada in the tortillas you get, and you make like make tacos out of the enchilada plate and I've been doing it forever and I've always loved it and it's always kind of shocked me that it's never been on any menus um, much less named like no one really had a name for it so I saw that as kind of a fun opportunity and like I, I mean I just was like this is no way there's no way this is gonna fail it's delicious and you know no one's thought of it so I, I feel like I struck gold hopefully Taking a bite of enchilaco, you're gonna get like, you're gonna get sweet, you're gonna get rich, you're gonna get a little spice. Um, you're gonna, there's creaminess from the sour cream and avocado. There's, um, there's, there's like cheese. So it's like, it's like a gluttonous bite, but it's also very fresh because you have like fresh vegetables and you know the avocado that kind of lends to that. And uh, I mean, I, I just think it's the best thing ever. I had no idea I was going to be doing this six months before I did it, to be honest, but um, I'm definitely happy that it ended up being this because this is pretty cool.